What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of 25 Feet High Outdoors. So this was a little bit different and the wind's blowing. Sorry, I had to make this video. The wind's blowing. So I'm sorry if the audio is a little bit messed up. I got two cameras recording, so whichever one's audio is better is the one I'll work with. But I'm doing a quick review on what I think is, and this is not sponsored, but Plano. If you're looking for people to sponsor, hit us up. But this is the, what I think is the best tackle bag on the market. Tackle, tackle box, tackle backpack, whatever you want to call it. I think this is the best one on the market that I've seen. I've looked at a lot of them. Um, now, there may be more expensive ones that are better, but as far as bang for your buck, I do not think you can get better than this bag right here. So it is a Plano original, and I do not know the QR code for it. I bought this bag about the end of the end of last summer uh, because I had a, another bag that just was starting to break down, and I saw this. A uh, friend of mine had it, and. It just looked like it was better built. Now, is there a couple things I wish they would do different? Yeah, but every bag, everything you find is going to have that. So, the first thing about it is, it has got an, a more of an industrial style zipper on it. It isn't, this whole backpack isn't exactly waterproof, but it's very water resistant. You would have to be, it would have to be soaking wet before i believe before you would get anything into the bag but it's also fishing tackle a little bit of moisture it ain't gonna hurt anything other than maybe rusting some hooks but on the first thing you have this little side pocket here that's where i keep my pliers and a couple bigger swim baits this side is just empty it's another little compartment that um well i thought it was empty it's got a worm in it but I normally, I have a little box that I keep all my GoPro batteries in for fishing. I normally keep that in there. It's in my truck currently right now. And then, lastly, on the outside of it, you have this compartment right here. Now, this compartment does hold a standard size little tackle um, bin. And I, norm, I used to keep tackle in this, but I moved stuff around. I wanted to be able to fit a bag a different or fit some stuff a different way. So all of my extra fishing line is in here. Not all of it, but the stuff that I use mainly is in here. Uh, so if you pop those two buttons, there's a pack. Of, I hadn't organized it since my last fishing trip, but there is a pack of baits right there. Then you've got, you know, like your 15 pound fluorocarbon, 20 pound fluorocarbon, 12. And then there's a couple things of braid in there just in case. And then it, and I really like these buttons. I do think I would like it more if it was a zipper. I, I'd rather, I think I'd rather have a zipper. But the padding on the back straps is easy. Now this is nice, but this bag is, if you pick it up, you think it's relatively heavy. But when you set it up, it fit formal on you. That it doesn't really seem as heavy as what it actually yes it's, it isn't too bad so right here you got these two little leather pieces now i believe plano makes something to where you can attach stuff to this but if you have a typical like a molly strap you might could put some a couple things attachment on the side to hold then you get to the inside of course i'm going to do zoom in work on everything and then this is where this isn't really made for this but I put it in there and when you zip it up, you don't have to put too much, you don't have to worry about too much stress on this. But this is my Texas rig, soft plastic type of box. I keep most of my Texas rig stuff into there other than a few other soft plastics inside. And then right now I have, what is it? One, two, three, four, five, six plastic tackle boxes inside. Now I believe it only comes with four, but I was able, it, it fits six nicely. Now putting in this extra weight may put more strain on it and it may hurt it in the long run. 
itself had this bag for about it, you know, seven, eight months ish, and it's not showing anywhere on it whatsoever. But so, and up here it's got this little storage compartment. I mainly use it to hold my, you know, random soft plastics, the extra stuff. I had an extra reel in it until I got a rod to put the extra reel on. Okay, you know, even though if you buy good stuff, sometimes reels break, sometimes rods break. Um, then this box right here is a bunch of worms, a couple wacky setups, Mondo worms, longer worms, a few homemade worms from somebody. I don't know who made them homemade, but I know they were homemade. Then this next little box right here is my finesse stuff. Well, my finesse soft plastic stuff. So I got some wacky rig, uh, wacky sinkos, uh, wacky hooks, um, Ned rigs, which I'm running low on. Um, so I got a few Ned options right there. And in my last fishing video, I actually caught a bass. It was a small one, but I caught a bass on a. Um, wacky rigged rattling Ned, which is pretty cool but if you're wanting a really smaller presentation but in a wacky try that out um, then next is my little you know jig box spinner baits click click baits um, or chatter baits and jig heads for flipping then next this is kind of my I don't when I'm I have more stuff, but when I'm keeping I keep my go-to stuff in my bag, and this is really my top water frogs. I got a few. Um, the, they're not they're Berkeley brand, but like the Whopper Plopper. I think they call them the Chopper, and then a few crankbaits and a swim bait or two, and a popping uh, a popper, but able to keep you know quite a bit of tackle and a smaller area perfect for you know if you had if you have your own bass boat or a boat period you can kind of put your own stuff however you want to in storage and good but for a grab and go bag kayaking um you're going fishing with a friend or if you're pond hopping i'm thinking you know this could help y'all out a lot so check it out this is uh this is also this is a kind of a random box i can fit a lot more in it's got some uh, trench hogs in it a few swim baits and a bunch of um, regular bass hooks and then this last box is slap full of different lizards because i really like using a lizard fish you put all that stuff back in fits right on in there and just to show you how much tackle this box bag actually holds it's just it's just awesome how you can fix this much this is what really sold me on this bag is that you could fit so much in it and it still it feels good it feels like it's not going to just break on you a lot of these bags and backpacks they they're just not made right and dang ac had to choose to kick on right now but um it's just not, a lot of these bags are just cheap for feel and stuff, and you feel like they're gonna rip, and a lot of them do rip. And I'm not saying this one won't, but in my experience, this thing is built just so much better. Higher grade zippers and everything else. So what inspired me to make this video is 25 High has a TikTok account. Um, if you look us up, it's just called 25 High Outdoors, 25 Poshby High Outdoors. And I posted a video that had this in the background, and like 90% of the comments on it are, what type of tackle bag is that? What type of tackle bag is that? Well, it is a Plano. I bought mine at Bass Pro. I've seen the, like the duffel bag version and a smaller version at Walmart. That don't mean that they might carry this backpack version. The, the one I sent, Walmart I went to might just not have had it. But um, I'm sure it's at Bass Pro Shops. I'm sure like the exporting goods, filling stream. I would imagine most of your bigger 
company, bigger places I have it, Academy. So just keep a lookout for next four. And what was really cool about this one is now it sounds it's it it sounds like it's expensive or it sounds expensive compared to a lot of tackle bags out here, but also I believe you're gonna get twice the life. Even the zippers have you know leather on it instead of that cheap neoprene like material that they use a lot of them use. But this bag was $79.99 when I bought it. Now don't hold me up the price. They may have went up, they may have fallen. I don't know. But it's, I think it's an awesome bag. I think it's great for you know the running the running gun style fishermen, whether you kayak, boat, um, pond hopping. I love this thing to death in pond hopping. You can actually wear it, even though mine is you see how much is in it, even though it's pretty heavy. I haven't put it on the scale. But um, I'd say probably around 20, 25 pounds ish, and it doesn't kill you when it when it's on your back, and you can actually fish pretty freely while wearing it. Now, if you're at a pond, you can take it off, sit it down the bank, walk around, you know, come back to it. But to get into it, like I went fish, this isn't going to be on the video, or not as of right now, because I didn't really do very good there. But I went fish in a uh, pond i had to walk like close to you know three quarters of a mile which isn't a long walk but just it would be if you had to carry a tackle box and you're able to throw this on your back have a fishing pole in one hand fishing rod and reels whatever one hand and you can play on your phone on the other when you're walking in to go fishing so i just wanted to do a quick video on this tackle bag i got a lot of questions about it off of tiktok so I figured maybe YouTube will want to see about it. So, y'all, go check it out. Next time you're in any of those big places, go look, see if they carry this bag. I really like it. Like I said, we're not affiliated with Plano in any way as of yet. So, it has come from a, you know, I have no reason to push this bag on you other than I really like it. And I think it's really nice. I've gotten a lot of compliments by it. people seeing me seeing me with it. They ask me what it makes and everything like that. But I, I like this color too. It's a little bit different. Most tackle bags are either just black or they're bright colors. And I like bright colors, but you know, why they get dirty? And this this has actually been rained on a couple times too, so it did even out pretty nicely. But like I said just a quick video i really appreciate y'all watching y'all stay tuned for more if you want more of these reviews comment down below let us know also really want to drop this real quick this is our hat and it is this one is the hollywood hunter it's a seven panel richardson it's a very comfortable wearing hat we are about to drop a um, website very soon i'm waiting on a few things to clear up and we're going to be selling hats we have a few other designs right now we have a few more designs on the way just waiting for shipping um, to come in we get, we got the hollywood hunter the full stealth which is a real tree original with a um, brown logo that way it didn't show off it was mainly designed for turkey hunt because you don't want to wear bright colors for turkey hunting the casual uh, the casual countryman which is a like they call it biscuit which is like a dark tan with a blue back and the uh, date night which is a gr heather gray with a black mesh red 25 black logo of course if you look at our instagram you could if you follow our instagram you'll have already seen them but that is about to drop we are super excited about that and then probably in my next video i'm going to talk more about if you're in the mobile area where we might can meet up with you here coming up soon we're, we're organizing something and um looks like we're going to be at an expo so stay tuned for that and always remember to live life 25 feet high 25 feet high and i hope this helped y'all out